you been to the Basilica? Have you met Bishop Ambrose? The Bishop? Yes, Mother, we've met. I've heard so many good things about him. His sermons are read even in Tagaste, and I've been quite moved to tears by all he has to say. Scribes, assistants, money. Look at this house, Mother. Have you seen upstairs? Would you like this to... This is what you left us for? Yes. To make something of myself. Your son serves the Emperor now, Mother. When you could be serving the King of all kings, using your talents for something truly good. Serving the Emperor doesn't meet with your high expectations. I know you can do better. You could be serving God. Once and for all, I am an educated man. I do not believe those useless fables. I have worked hard for this position, and... <sighs> this is useless. You lied to me, Augustine. Left your son and his mother in my care. We had no idea where you were. I did what I had to do. Look what I've accomplished. I've won the respect of the Empress. But do you respect yourself, Augustine? It's... it's a good position, Mother. You didn't answer my question. I know this all comes at a price. What price are you paying for all this, Augustine? You're never satisfied with me. Always trying to change me. Well, you can't change me, Mother. I am what I am. And I don't believe in your God. He's done nothing for me. I need to know everything there is to know about Bishop Ambrose. What he's preaching. I have labored too hard to lose all this just because of some silly, superstitious old man who manipulates uneducated fools with his fantasy tales that lead to nothing. Now let's get to work and find out as much as we can to bring the bishop's influence to an end. Fables, nonsense, and foolishness. That is how some people perceive our faith. And why? Because rather than hoarding, we prefer to give. Rather than striving for position and status, we favor humility. Instead of seeking to rule, we choose to follow Christ's example of service to those less fortunate. Christ living in our hearts motivates us to love and care for one another. And how do we do that? We feed the hungry. We clothe the naked, for in so doing, Christ tells us, what you have done for the least of my brethren, you have done it to me. The bishop puts his own importance over that of the good people with poisonous words. Bishop Ambrose manipulates the people. Oh. Christ said, you know that rulers lord it over their subjects and that high officials exercise authority over their people. But it must not be so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must become as a servant, just as I did not come to be served, but to serve. In God's kingdom, words are not enough. God calls us to action, action. While he may be good with words, Ambrose does nothing to help. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've got to find something to use against Ambrose. Anything. Augustine, you came again. Bishop Ambrose, this is my son. Ah, yes. Voice of the Emperor. I'm happy to see you here. Um, just curious. That's all. Oh. We're taking care of them. They're the children of... I... I know who they are. Then you may also know these people. You're not saying that... Yes. As you can see, the Emperor's mandates have left more than one family in ruin, and I will not abandon them. I... Um... Good afternoon, Bishop. He doesn't belong in the Emperor's palace. God has something better for him. I know it. Oh, Bishop, if, if only you would convince him. No. But... Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, 
and they follow me. No one can convince Augustine. When he is ready, he will hear God's voice. Besides, God cannot refuse such prayers and tears as those that you faithfully pour out for your son. Take comfort. Augustine, isn't this a coincidence? Come, get in. Researching for your speech? You look like you need a little relaxation. The speech I gave last week. People were arrested afterward. Of course. People break the law, they get arrested. That's how we take care of the Empire. The young man, he had a family. And? You said you would look into his situation. I did. And he needed to pay his taxes. For the good of the Empire. You have no idea what it takes to run this Empire. You keep to your speeches and leave the rest to us. Am I understood? By the way, do well tomorrow and the Empress has decided to raise your pay. A toast to the voice of the Emperor. A toast! A toast!